Hello guys, it's Moshe and welcome back to my channel and today's video is actually a follow-up from my previous video that I did all about taking down my three month old corn rolls so I took everything out as you've seen in the last video and this video is actually a follow-up and I'm going to be shampooing my hair today and hopefully deep conditioning as well at the same time because obviously I didn't get to do all of that because my hair was very very matted and i had to detangle it took me like two days i had to start and stop because my head was like really really sore and i had to give my my scalp a chance to just breathe and relax and not have my hands in there before we get into the video though be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're watching me for the first time and also hit the bell button so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video without further ado let's get into the video hey guys okay so before i get started i'm gonna do like a pre-poo uh just to really sort of detangle you know once again for my hair i'm probably gonna detangle again as i do my deep conditioning as well using i'm gonna use the deep treatment by three minute miracle moisture by aussie moist just apply like a little bit or perhaps a generous amount to my hair and then I will detangle at the section and then twist it up again because as much as I've detangled my hair it's still very very like you know knotted and it's still got a lot of hair to come out so I have to really really like take my time with this and just add more conditioner if I wish it really really helps oh yeah I forgot I also added like the oil when I was doing this so this is just like extra virgin olive oil on its own see as you can see there's still like fairy knots and all them um, tangles so I'm afraid that if I go and wash my hair like this I might you know get into even more like trouble usually if obviously um, my hair hadn't been in like a long-term protective style this takes me maybe like 15 to half an hour or less than that 20 minutes to just properly do a pre poo and detangle everything but this looks like it's gonna be a while The way my hair is, it's as if I didn't even detangle, like, but this is even better compared to what it was before. And I think I've come across a knot that's very stubborn. That is gonna have to go. rinsed out um, the conditioner and my hair feels really really soft actually um, from that treatment mask that I used as a pre poo and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shampoo my hair using the Jamaican Sheer Moisture Jamaican uh, Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Shampoo um, obviously this is like my favorite shampoo <laughs> um, 
obviously I've wanted to try it out for the longest of time and um, finally I got it and yeah it's it's on the list of my favorite shampoos so yeah I'm just gonna like lather this shampoo all over my hair <laughs> seems like I'm using a lot of shampoo but I did have a lot of build up in my hair and a lot of like oils and stuff like that So I have just um, finished rinsing off my hair and yeah I have like a very <laughs> bad habit of using towels I know I'm not supposed to do that but um, yeah I was already in there washing my hair and then I realized I needed a t-shirt and I had nothing close by but a towel so yeah don't use towels because the fibers can trap or break off your hair and things like that Whenever I remember I use a t-shirt to dry my hair um, and not a towel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my conditioner to my hair and the conditioner that I'm using today is the Shea Moisture Mongongo, Mongongo and Hemp Seed Oil High Porosity Moisture Correct Mask with Baobab Protein and Apple Cider Vinegar. I'm going to mix it up and then i'm gonna add a teaspoon of you know some of this organic honey this honey is actually from zambia right? <laughs> and i'm gonna add that you know because honey is a humectant and um, it draws in obviously moisture to your hair and moist keeps your hair moisturized for a longer period also we're gonna be adding in my extra virgin olive oil into the mixture a sunny aisle <laughs> Cast Jamaican black castor oil. It's all in a bit of the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Mask because I just really want, you know, good moisturized hair at the end of this wash day because, yeah, it's been a long time, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix everything up and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I am done and uh, this is what my hair is looking like and I'm going to put a plastic bag on my hair, this good old Morrison's plastic bag. <laughs> and then I'm going to sit under like a hooded dryer for like 30 minutes and then I'll rinse and then I'll come and show you guys the results and show you the 
the bundle of hair that you love you have all been waiting for <laughs> but yeah if you're enjoying this video um make sure you thumbs up and yeah let me know do you normally use grocery bags or do you have the ones that you buy the conditioning caps i find that this is cheaper because you're buying this with your groceries anyway <laughs> it's it's efficient it works it's fine but yeah let me know do you prefer that or the conditioning cap comment down below hey guys so i have um just finished rinsing my hair out and after lecturing myself about using a towel to dry my hair i decided to use my chitenge um so it's like a it's like a t-shirt material type of thing um i wanted to use that to dry out my hair so obviously this is what my hair is looking like i wash my hair in twist and um just because it's been in a protective style for a long time um i don't want to risk washing my hair like just like that because it might just you know cuddle up to each other and just cause uh cause like matting and um i can unravel some of it and just show you it feels really really soft like after using that combination so what i did and like i did sit under like um i did sit under a hooded dryer for like 30 minutes and yeah and then i left it on for like another hour just without the hooded dryer so this is what it's looking like i really don't know what i'm gonna do to my hair i'm probably just gonna do the um lock method and probably leave it i was thinking about styling it but i feel like it's too soon too much manipulation and so yeah the long awaited hair that's shedded from my hair i'm gonna show you that now this this is the hair that's come out just now um when i've been rinsing out my hair because i had to like do one last with detangles let's go a drum roll please <laughs> for the grand finale of the shedded hair that i've had all together including this that i've just shown you this is the hair guys like it's all in there in this little bag like it's it's a lot like well i suppose you shed like 100 strands per day for three and a half months that's um a reasonable amount i guess and obviously there's probably shedding there's probably breakage because you can't avoid breakage when you you know manipulating or dealing with your hair so that's the the amount of hair that i shed it guys and oh my gosh it was just for me i was looking at it i was like am i gonna have any hair left in my hair when i'm you know once i'm done with this so and that is all from me and yeah so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any videos that i do upload let me know how you normally wash your hair do you usually put it in twist when you wash or do you just wash it as a whole um and what what works best for you do you normally use combs when you wash your hair or do you just finger detangle let me know in the comment section below let's have a discussion all right thank you so much for watching until next time bye guys mm -hmm. <laughs>